you're in Norman, Oklahoma. Um, you do your radio show and you talk Oklahoma Sooners, but you guys also talk the national landscape of college football and sports yeah. in general. I, I'm curious to get your take, and, and you can you can shoot me straight. Obviously, be be as honest as you want because again, I, I know that in Gamecock circles. I think South Carolina fans are happy. I'm happy with the hire. I think South Carolina is a unique job. You needed to get a guy in there that understood the culture and could bring that back and bring that standard back that Steve Spurrier set when he was there. Not necessarily winning 11 games every single year, but just the standard at South Carolina that Will Muschamp was just never able to, to establish there. On the national level, I know this hire has some mixed reviews. I'm curious to get your take on it because, again, we heard names mentioned like Billy Napier, Hugh Freeze, Jamie Chadwell over at Coastal Carolina. Just your overall thoughts on the hire. Were you surprised South Carolina went with Shane Beamer, a guy that, you know, listen, call for what it is. He has no head coaching experience. He's never been a head coach before. Never even been a major coordinator. There's certainly, and I think a lot of the higher South Carolina would, could have went with, basically all of them, I think, were a roll of the dice. But from the national perspective and just your take, were you surprised in the direction that South Carolina went? Yeah, because at first I said, I mean, not even being a head coach before, this guy hasn't been a coordinator. He hasn't even called plays before. So I guess my initial reaction was, is Shane Beamer getting this gig because of his last name? If his name was Shane Alexander, would he even have been thought of for this job? Maybe so, but you can't help but think that at first. Mm -hmm. But then I, I've started to think about this a lot more throughout the past several days. And the more that I think about it, the more that it does end up making sense to me. Because I think that South Carolina needs to be unique offensively. They got to have their own calling card. Hell, when Steve Spurrier was there, what did he have? Three consecutive 10-win seasons? Yeah, 11. They were doing 11, some yeah, yeah, three straight 11-win seasons. Mm. You know? So – I think Shane Beamer can bring you that. I, I think it was a good out-of-the-box hire in the sense that, okay, we can get a guy that's been around Steve Spurrier. We can get a guy that's been under Lincoln Riley for, for a few years and, and, and coach for that guy. Maybe we can bring some of that offense to Columbia, South Carolina. And if we can bring some of that offense to Columbia, South Carolina and implement it and be really good at it, then we damn sure can be better than Tennessee. Mm. We can be better than Kentucky. We're already better than Vanderbilt. We can be better than Missouri. So, like, if this offense works out, if Shane Beamer works out, what I'm saying is <laughs> South Carolina could really plan itself because that team needs to take control. Like, mm. somebody can implement themselves as the third best team in the SEC East, and maybe if all the pieces fall right back into place, you can be better than a Georgia one year. Maybe Florida has a down year. I just – the more that I think about this job, it's I love that South Carolina didn't do a retread because I thought that's what the Will Muschamp hire was. Yeah. The guy failed at Florida. To me, if you fail at a big-time job, that means you're not a very good coach to me. Right. I, I don't think that we've seen very many coaches fail at a big-time job and then go somewhere else and have success. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's been proven to be done. I just never understood the Will Muschamp hire. Yeah. This isn't a retread. It's thinking outside the box. This guy can recruit. He can develop relationships, and he's going to bring an offense that's going to be tough to prep for week in and week out in the SEC East. This does not guarantee that South Carolina is going to be in an SEC title game in the next four or five years, but it gives them a whole hell of a lot better chance than they did with, with Will Muschamp. And, and I think that that's the big thing, right? It's South Carolina fans got what they wanted. They got a better coach than what they got before, and they're getting an offense. I mean, Will Muschamp wasn't winning – and he was doing so with the boring ass offense. I know I'm not telling you anything that you don't right. already know, but <laughs> at least at the end of the day, South Carolina football is going to be really fun to watch here right. for the next few years.